everyone, Linda here from the Scrapbooking Photographer. I'm bringing a video to you today to celebrate 500 subscribers for Karen Day. Now Karen's channel on YouTube is called A Little Kinder, so go and check that out if you haven't already and uh, share some loves. 500 subscribers is a great number to achieve and I hope to join her one day soon. So the other thing that I'm joining in on today is the Mixed Media Mayhem. Now that hop is due a couple of days after Karen's celebratory hop, but I'm going to run out of time so I've combined them both together. So the sketch we've been given from Mixed Media Mayhem is this one, which is beautiful with the mixed media and the different colours. Uh, for that I'm going to do a theme of springtime with some uh, springy type colours and I also thought that would fit in with Karen's topic which she has given us a brief of currently which is very broad um, but I thought in New Zealand at the moment it is springtime. We have got some beautiful bees starting to buzz around some gorgeous blossoms and the birds are out getting the nectar and things and it's just a lovely place to be. Not today however because it's incredibly windy but normally it's a lovely place. So I'm going to do a springtime themed layout along the lines of that sketch for Mixed Media Mayhem and it's going to have that on the top but we've got to do some work below that to start with. So I'm going to move that aside and start with the mixed media in the background. So we had our photos kind of in that orientation. So what I'm going to do is use some distress oxides and mix up the yellows, the pinks and the blues. I'm going to try and put some blues down here to balance with the blue here and some yellows up there to balance with these yellows and some pink in around it. So I'll speed up the video and we'll see how we go. Using the ink pad straight onto the multi-purpose mat and spraying some water on it means I can use a little piece of sponge to transfer it from there onto the paper. And cleaning the mat in between with just a paper towel and then I can go to the blue colour. So my yellow colour is mustard seed, the blue colour is chip sapphire and when I come to the pink it's called kitsch flamingo. Spreading the colours around, giving us a, a bit of variety. I like it to be sort of balanced with the photos, so I do bring the photos in and just see how things are progressing as we go along. So I obviously need a little bit more yellow over on the right hand side. So again, straight onto the multi-purpose mat with some water and bring a little bit down on the bottom as well. So we've got those uh, three little spots of yellow. And after another little dry fit, I bring in some more chip sapphire to again bring it up into two other pieces on the page. And that gives us our three little areas there. I think it's enough pink though. Um, so I'm going to mount these photos onto a piece of green apple. And that will just bring a little bit of green in that will go with my word time in springtime. And also it blends nicely with the leaves in the photo. So backing those on a little bit of figured paper, I've brought this in from the Life's a Hoot pack, which is part of my stash. And uh, the pink backing is from Backyard Bliss. When I'm finished the Distress Oxides, I decide to turn the white cardstock around to have more yellow on the right that complements with the spring that's going up on the top left. So I think that looks better that way around. So the stamp I'm bringing in is uh, a little runner stamp that says uh, life is full bloom or in full bloom and spring has sprung. So I'm just using that to go underneath the photos and I've stamped that in wisteria. So to add some embellishments, I have these die cuts that came last year in the um, cardstock carnival and I have a set of different colours so I'm just going through popping out different pieces that might fit into a springtime display from what I've got left of things like flowers and leaves and I do take a tab out of the pink coloured one. There's also a couple that come out of the purple sheet and each of these sheets are glossy on one side and 
um, more matte finish on the other side. So in effect it gives us two choices to use when we're putting them into the page. So I'll bring the page back down and just uh, audition these around and see where they might fit the best before I stick them, stick them down. So uh, the sketch does have them sort of scattered around, so that's the look I'm going for. It'll be interesting to see what everybody else comes up with for this hop. So this is the Mixed Mayhem sketch. So uh, what, make sure you watch that playlist to see what everybody else comes up with there. Uh, the, the hop for Karen's 500 subscribers will have all sorts of different themes going, given that we were given the topic of currently. So that could be any number of things. Anyway, I'll put links to both those groups in the description below so you can check them out and get lots of inspiration from plenty of other creators as well. I find quite a few stickers that blend in well from the very old paper pack, um, A Beautiful Life, and that's where those butterflies come from. They just happen to be the perfect colour. A Memory Lane, which is a very recent paper pack, uh, also has some well coloured uh, little circle stickers that fit in well around the place too. So somewhat conversely I have put the stickers onto the page before I've stuck anything down. So I'm going to have to go back and uh, try and get everything into the right place around the stickers. So I've got some journaling strips that I'm just popping in here as well and uh, making sure they're straight with the bottom of the page. And I'll do a little bit of writing on those after I've stuck everything uh, down. While I'm sticking that down, you can see that it is uh, quite different to what the sketch was. But when we're given sketches like that, it is mainly for inspiration. So it certainly uh, inspired me to use some different coloured distress oxides and these photos and the die cuts and everything just to get this look. So the Mixed Media Mayhem runs uh, during the month and if you want to have a look at the Facebook page and join us next month that would be great. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel too and gets notifications that these videos are coming up. I really appreciate your support as I build my channel to hopefully get to 500 like Karen one day. Um, if you haven't subscribed, then uh, perhaps you've enjoyed this enough to be able to push that subscribe button today and then you'll be able to see when anything else comes up and see what I uh, interpret sketches as. I am a close to my heart maker, so I do um, videos for new paper packs, stamps of the month and different card making ideas and all sorts of things during the month too. So now that this is just about all stuck down, the last thing I'm going to do is add a few little uh, hearts and dots from the green pack of dots and the green apple uh, variety in the middle there. So congratulations again to Karen for her 500 subbies and uh, I look forward to seeing what everybody else has come up with for these two hops. Thanks for watching everybody and happy crafting.